Let, okay, let's say, let's, let's get personal. All right, you have a husband and wife, right? They love each other. They don't ever have it truly in their heart. Mother Carol, do you ever have it truly in your heart to hurt me, disappoint me, offend me, do me wrong? Do you think that that's in my heart to do that to you? You sure? The way I am, are you sure that ain't never in my heart to injure you? Come on now. Let, come on, lean into this. <laughs> you sure? Okay, so what happens if I do? Are you going to still keep the same testimony? Look at you damn hypocrites sitting there looking at me like some damn a bump on a log. Look at y'all. It's the end of the damn world. Ain't it? It's the end of the world. You ready to throw in a towel? You ready to forget this shit the whole nine yards? That's what the book says over in Romans when it says, you damn hypocrite. You said a bit judge another and you commit the same things your own self. Did you just hear a testimony? It's never in my heart to ever injure her. I don't care what happens in life, it's not my intent ever, ever. I mean, after all, it's my wife. Don't I love my own flesh? When I love the flesh of my wife? Look, look, look at her. So what the hell is happening then? What's going on? Hold that for a second, get Ephesians 6, 12, and then come back to this. Let me tell you exactly what's happening. Want to hit? Read. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Stop! I just got finished. You heard a testimony, right? Yep. You heard my testimony. Yep. So if there's ever a conflict in there, we have to remember that we don't wrestle against what? See, and then the next stage is, well, see, now you submitting to the devil. And then you go, no, you submitting to the devil. And you go, no, you submitting to the devil. Now the devil in both your hands. But see, the book we just got finished saying, well, we just got finished reading over here in Galatians says, says, brother, if you see a brother overtaken in a fault, you that are spiritual, you that, see, why can't everybody remain spiritual? Wait, look, look at it. When are we going to start seeking his love, damn it? Why can't we remain spiritual when we see somebody overtaken in a fault, missing them all? Come on with it. Why? For we wrestle not against what? Flesh, Flesh and, blood. and blood. Read. But. But against what? Against principality. See, that principality just showed up in the house. Just showed up in the house. Somebody has got to remain spiritual. It's easy to submit to the flesh. Huh? Is it, come on, ain't it all easy to submit to the flesh? But the spiritual man knows how to crucify the flesh and the lust thereof. But against principalities, against powers, what? Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. See, you thinking the rulers of the darkness world will be out there in that world, but not in your world. Ain't that right? You think it's supposed to be out there in that world, but not in your world, right? Well, hold that for a second. Go to Isaiah 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in Yah. With an everlasting salvation, ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. So Israel, you the world without end. But the enemy ain't supposed to be in your world. Never mind. Go back to go back to um, uh, uh, Ephesians six twelve. They missed it. You Israel, right? So the devil ain't only just going to be in, in everybody all the Gentiles where he's going to be in your world too. You got to be spiritual. You got to be spiritual. Don't you bank on me being spiritual when you, over, when you are missing the mark? Don't you, Mother Carol?